Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you one more way to run a three-way switch. This time I'm going to have the power coming from my panel box into my light box. Then I'm going to drop a wire down into this switch box for one switch and then I'll run a three wire over here for my second switch. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run power wire from my panel box into the light box. Okay, so that'll go over there and get hooked up to the breaker. All right, next I'm going to run a wire from this light down into my first switch box. So I'll put the power wire, put that on the inside. And the last wire I need to run is a three wire from one switch box to the other switch box. So, let's start with the switch box over here. You strip the wire. I have three wires in this box. I have a black wire, a white wire, and a red wire. Again, the ground doesn't count. Okay, so I'm going to snip them off about six inches, strip them about three quarters of an inch, put your hooks on the end. Okay, and then we're going to install a three-way switch. Okay, so a three-way switch, again, you have a gold and a gold across from each other. One, there's one side with one screw and the other side has two. So, you always want to put these on the same way. I always put the red wire from the traveler on the side by itself. Okay, it's only one screw on this side and I put that red wire by itself. Then I'll flip it over and I'll put its companion across from it. This is the only way this will work. It has to go across from each other. Okay, and that leaves this white wire which I'm going to use as my switch leg. So it gets hooked up to the third screw, the black one, on this type of switch. Okay, then you put a ground wire on and you fold it into the box. Okay, pretty simple. Next we'll go to the other switch box. We got two wires coming into this. We got our traveler wire, and we got a wire switch leg coming down from the light. Always want to remind you, always be careful with the knife so you don't slice your fingers. You don't cut into the black or the white or the red coating. Okay. 
Once you have your wire stripped, the first thing I always do is do my grounds so that I can get them out of the way. So I turn it with the Wiseman's pliers, pull on a little bit, get a nice tight twist, snip off one wire, attach your green wire nut. Okay, so when I get this other, I'm going to hook up my switch legs. The switch leg is this white wire coming down here, then going through my three wire over to here. So all I have to do is strip and cut these two white wires. They are, in this case, my switch leg wires. Alright, so that leaves these other three wires. One of them will be the hot wire and the other two are my travelers. So I cut, strip, and bend. Red wire goes on the side by itself so it matches this one. Its companion goes on the other side, opposite of it. And then my black wire, which is my hot wire, will be hooked to the other last of the three screws. And then, of course, ground wire. Then all you have to do is stuff it all into the box. Okay, so up here I have these two black wires. So of course you do your ground wires first. Then I have the two black wires. The hot wire coming in is then goes down on the switch leg and that's the wire that I hooked here by itself. All you have to do with those two black wires is strip them, cut them, and wire nut them. Put them in the box. That leaves two wires. This wire coming from the panel box is my neutral wire. This white wire coming from this switch over here becomes my switch leg. So all I have to do is take a black marker and identify it as a black wire. So now that becomes my switch leg. So this would be go to the black wire on your light. This would go to the white wire on your light. And of course the ground would go to the ground. Okay, so that's where you have three-way switches, power at the light box, okay?